it's Jedi and welcome back to my channel I know it's been like a couple weeks or three maybe but I was sick again for like the first week of this month and then I've been busy with work well two jobs actually um, and I've been putting my Christmas presents all together and they're right next to me I'm not even done wrapping them yet or haven't started actually but um, yeah I've just been so busy but I'm back and with this video, I decided to do a holiday glam since Christmas is coming up and um, I wanted to kind of have like an idea of what I should wear um, on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So I came up with this. I really didn't plan on what to do with my eyes, but this is what I came up with and I actually like it. And I rarely use glitters, but I went to NYX a couple weeks ago and I saw that they have a glitter primer. Like I've been I've been looking for one for so long and I think this was only like less than $10 and it works well. Like I mean look at this, like the glitter is staying on my eyelids, which is so nice. But yeah, before we get started though, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe to my channel down there. Also, like my video and my other videos, I do have a vlogging channel. I will link everything down below if you want to check it out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Am I even centered? I'm not sure. But I don't have anything on my face right now. And I'm going to start with my lips. Where is my lip moisturizer? Okay. It's right here. I use the Vaseline Lip Therapy. They have been super dry lately because of the cold and I don't think I've been drinking a lot of water lately, which is bad. But I'm gonna get on that tonight. And if you guys hear coughing in the background, that's because my mom is sick. And before I started this video, she was like, I'm sorry if I'm coughing in the background. I'm like, don't worry girl, it's okay. People people get sick. I was sick like two weeks ago and you put up with my shit, so you're good. But after that, um, I'm gonna moisturize my face and I have been using the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Protecting Light Moisturizer and it has SPF 15. And I've been using this for years, I think two to three years now, which is crazy. And my skin loves it. So, I don't think, well, actually I've been wanting to try new um, skincare, but I'm just super scared. But I mean, I'll never know until I try, you know? But what if I break out like crazy and like I can't fix it? Like that's the only thing. I have dry patches on my skin, not just my face, but even my arms. Whenever it gets cold, I don't know why. That's why it's important that I moisturize my face more than I usually do. So now that I'm done moisturizing my face, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I've been using the e.l.f. Lock on liner and brow cream in the shade Espresso. I actually picked this up from Walmart because I ran out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I had this one in chocolate. And I use this for a while, but look, I only have a little bit left, but I don't want to use it anymore. So now I'm using the e.l.f. and it's been per working perfectly fine for me. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyebrows, um, we're gonna get on the eyes right now. And I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I hope it all works out in the end. So first, we're gonna start off with um, an eyeshadow base, and I've been using the NYX eyeshadow base in um, ESB03. I'm not sure what shade this is, but... It's this one and I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelids to create a smoother can 
canvas for our eyeshadow and I'm just using my finger to apply this because I don't know what else to use and I don't know if my eyebrows are the same but whatever they're not supposed to be the same they're supposed to be sisters not twins or whatever and I always say that um first whoa 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 my mirror almost fell off the table okay so i'm gonna use the elf mad for matte 2 in the shade it doesn't really have a name but it's this orange shade right here and it's gonna be my transition shade so I'm using the Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to apply this right here, right above my crease. And then just a little bit below my crease, I'm going to go ahead and grab, where is it? Right here. And I'm going to grab the NYX Beyond Nude eyeshadow. It looks like this. and with the same transition color but I'm only going to take a little bit and then I'm going to blend these two out and it's okay if this part or the outer part is messy right now because I'm going to clean it out in a little bit now I'm going to grab Jaclyn's palette of course the most gorgeous palette that I have and I'm gonna be grabbing this shade right here I don't have the list of names but I'm just gonna point it out that's this one I'm gonna be applying that on the outer corners of my eyes <laughs> and then whatever I have left on my brush I'm just gonna blend it towards the middle right below the one that I just used and I'm gonna pat that onto this outer corner of my eye and now I'm gonna take my where is it my fit me concealer by Maybelline and it's in the shade sand sable and I also use this on my face and I've been using this for quite some time now and I love it and I'm gonna do like a cut crease kind of but only halfway I don't know what that's called but I'll show you guys <laughs> Are they the same? Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna set this concealer with like a white eyeshadow. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna grab my NYX Glitter Primer. It's so pretty, but I'm gonna apply it all over the concealer. And I'm gonna use a flat brush. 
and this should help the glitters stay in place all through the night. <laughs> As for the glitters, which is next, I'm using the NYX Glitter Brilliance in the shade Bronze. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. <laughs> that dog keeps barking i love dogs but not when i'm making a video not like this not like so i'm only doing little by little because i don't want a lot of fallout on my face but i mean it shouldn't matter because i don't have foundation on just yet but you know less mess to clean up oh i am in love i don't know if you guys can see but this is so beautiful oh my god what the fuck okay so now i'm gonna try to just blend the harsh lines up here with um, the same brush that I use my, with my transition shade and it's the Morphe M433 I don't really know how makeup gurus do that but I'm just gonna grab the same shade and then I'm gonna lightly hopefully the glitters won't move I'm just gonna lightly blend the harsh lines up here go back with Jaclyn Hills palette and grab the darkest shade that I used earlier which is this one and take some and then try to blend the glitter and this shade out because I don't want any harsh lines or anything but I feel like there will be a harsh line <laughs> I'm just gonna try to blend it out as much as I can <laughs> Moving on to my brow bone, I'm just going to do the usual and I'm just going to be applying a white eyeshadow first. I don't know why I do this but I do it anyway. And now I'm going to grab my favorite highlighter right now which is Hearts Coffee and Cream. It's the coffee and cream right here. If you haven't watched my review on this one, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can watch it. I literally went crazy over this because it's so nice. Um, for my brow one, I'm just going to apply both. So I'm going to combine them. And I've been using this almost every day, which is crazy, but I love it so much. And of course, you don't want to see that line in between your highlighter and your eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab a clean brush to blend both out. So now I'm going to grab an eyeliner. And this one is from, I think, Ulta. And it's I'm almost done with it. I'm going to line my tight line best that I can. You know I look ugly right now but Ooh, I could never get used to doing that. I always get watery eyes whenever I do that which is which ruins my looks sometimes. But... Okay so now we're gonna curl our lashes and then we can pop on our falsies afterwards 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Palladio Double Agent Mascara. So this is kind of like the primer, I guess. <music> apply the fiber fiber booster that's what it's called just to kind of make my um, lashes thicker and fuller and it also makes the falsies thicker and fuller as well and I'm gonna go back with the primer and kind of set the fiber and now we're gonna be popping on our falsies and for this look I'm gonna be using Stella by Coco lashes <laughs> done I haven't done the bottom part because I want to do that after I apply my foundation but um, before I put on my foundation I'm gonna go ahead and apply my soap and glory one heck of a blot um, instant perfecting power primer and it's this one and it helps um, kind of keep my face um, matte and also it minimizes my pores that's what I've noticed so far. So um, I have huge pores right here. So I'm gonna apply the most um, on those areas. And it sucks because when I was um, when I was in I think freshman year, I used to touch my face a lot. Whenever I had a pimple, I would always pop it and touch it now that my skin is all better I try not to touch it too much like I should you not I had bangs back in high school and that shit made my forehead look like I don't know I had so many like pimples on here and my cheeks were not in like the best condition I had a very rough skin back in high school and then I got rid of my bangs I grew it out and now my forehead is the cleanest part of my face. Now I'm gonna grab my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm gonna be using the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. And I have been using this for quite some time now, like most of my products right here. This just kinda, this one gives me the perfect amount of matte and then dewiness at the same time. I don't know. How to explain it but even though my face gets super oily I don't like to look too matte or too dry I still want that dewy finish I'm just gonna dot this all over my face <laughs> with my beauty blender I have glitters all over my face but who cares or at least I don't I wish I had even skin tone on my face so that I wouldn't have to wear foundation whenever I go out like sometimes I just want to go bare face you know like to parties or like to like a special occasion but my skin tone on my face is not even at all, which sucks. Okay, and don't forget your neck, you guys. Just blend it out. Not like all the way down here, but just a little bit. Because I used to work with this one girl at Taco Bell. She didn't last very long, I don't know why. But um, her foundation had like an orange pinkish undertone and she blended it all the way down here and you can tell the difference so like make sure that you're using the like the right shade because if you blend it down here like you could definitely tell that's why like whenever you go out there and try out a new foundation like you want to get the perfect shade you should at least try to blend it or try to put it on right here and see if it matches your neck you might not be able to tell like in the mirror but other people can tell and I'm gonna go back with the same concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade number 20 or a Sand Sable. I'm just gonna 
brighten up my face. And this time I'm gonna use the side of my beauty blender so I can get in the crevices. Yeah, like I'm never worried about being too messy with my eyeshadow because I always use my foundation and concealer to shape it or like to clean it up because now like it looks so much better than earlier. My T-zone is the oiliest part of my face so I always try to, I guess, bake it. And for baking or for my powder, I use Airspun. And this is in, I guess, translucent, extra coverage. Okay, translucent. That's what it is. So with the same beauty blender, damp beauty blender, I'm gonna apply it on the bridge of my nose and then on my forehead because this shit gets so oily throughout the day and it's not the business. And also my laugh line or smile line or whatever, it creases so easily. So I try to, I guess, bake it too. And it's only this side, which is hella funny. Like. When I smile, like I have this laugh line too or like smile line, but it doesn't crease as much as this one. Like during the summer, it's so bad. Like after maybe five minutes of me putting on my foundation, like you could already see a crease and it's so annoying. And I really don't have any cure for that. So I just had to put up with it, you know? So after that, while it's baking, I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Contour Kit and it's um, in medium to tan. And I've been using, which shade is this? I've been using Havana for the longest time and I've almost hit pan. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this angled brush by e.l.f. And don't mind it if it's like hella harsh because I'm gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M320. And I'm also gonna be using the same brush to apply um, bronzer on my forehead. I'm gonna grab my Hoola bronzer by Benefit. Hearts highlighter, coffee and cream highlighter. I'm gonna grab my highlighter brush, which is this one. It's from Ulta, I think. Yeah, I've been using it for a long time. And I'm gonna grab coffee first. And this one has a more natural finish. And I'm gonna um, apply this on the highest points of my cheeks. <laughs> extra grab cream because it adds a blinding finish not natural but blinding Look. see you see if you can't see this you're lying So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything off. I'm also gonna contour my nose to make it look, you know, more prominent. Cause you know how it'd be like with a Filipino nose. I'm just using like the edge of this brush to create an illusion that I have some type of bridge on my nose when I really don't. And then going back on this highlighter, I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it right here and on the bridge of my nose, like so. We're not done with the eyes. So with a mini flat brush, I'm gonna go back with the e.l.f. Matte for matte. I'm gonna grab this brown shade right here and I'm gonna apply it on my lash line. Not on my lash line, but below my lash line. <laughs> And then I'm gonna grab the same mascara that I used earlier, but I'm only gonna be using the primer. I know it's weird, but I like the finish that it gives me. So that's all for the eyes. For my brows, I'm just gonna set it with the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. It looks like this, so that it stays in place all day and all night. 
And for my lips, I still don't know what I want to do with it. I feel like I'm just going to go natural or maybe apply like a lip gloss because I want the eyes to stand out, you know? I was going to go for like a bold lip, but I guess not. So I'm just going to be using this Makeover Essentials lip gloss. <music> To set my whole face, I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray or Setting Mist. And I love how it's not your typical spray. Like, it's a mist. Like, look. I don't know if you saw that, but... Because with, like, the regular spray, it has, like, it leaves you with, like, like dots of water but this one is a mist and i love how it feels it's cooling and it smells so good and this retails for i think 12 to 15 dollars but if you're from san jose and you go to valley fair you can also use youtubers codes like manny mua or someone else's but yeah you can get discounts present my brushes like oh this is from this and that but i tried my best um i hope you guys liked the video and if you did like i said please subscribe on my channel and also if you want to hit that notification bell down there so you can get notified whenever i have a new video you can go ahead and do that and i hope you guys have a happy holiday i hope you spend it with your friends and your family and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video bye Oh.